This is Noah Figueroa with Paragon Rail Car and Paragon Printworks. In this video, I will show you how we take one ton concrete precast blocks like these to build bridge abutments. A basic precast abutment package will end up looking like this, but we can also design, supply, and build more elaborate abutments like this. Either way, the process starts off with a simple block like this. Notice the decorative face, which is available in a few different finishes. The lifting hoop on the back and top of the block. The groove on the bottom, the two knobs on top. The blocks measure 41 inches from the face to the back and are 18 inches tall and a width of 46 inches. The block we have been looking at is called a middle block. The only difference between this and our bottom block is the lack of a bottom groove on the bottom block. We also have a top block which has no knobs on top. These three blocks are the basic building blocks of any abutment design. We now simply add blocks to create an abutment. This is a basic package for a single wide rail car rated for HF20. By simply adding more blocks, we now have a basic abutment package for a double wide rail car bridge rated for HF20, which is 72,000 pounds. By removing a row of blocks, we get a basic abutment package for a double wide rail car bridge rated for H20, which is 40,000 pounds. We now have an abutment package for 10,000 pound vehicular traffic or pedestrian traffic. Because of the low cost, this package is also popular for temporary bridges. Regardless of how many blocks, the first bridge deck is placed like this, with the second bridge deck placed right next to the first. The process is simple, very cost effective, very quick, and can be duplicated throughout North America with inventory sitting on the ground in almost every single state. Let's take a look at how this actually gets put together. Here we are in northern Colorado with temperatures in the single digits. As with any construction project, the first thing we do is clear our work area. Then we start excavation. We level off, compact, and set the first row of blocks. The bottom row is the most time consuming to build. You can tell what kind of block this is by the knobs on top and the groove on the bottom. These blocks weigh about 2,000 pounds and can easily be picked up by a backhoe or a small excavator. This particular project requires five rows of blocks, but you can see that it will not take very long to set these abutments. This is what the finished product looked like. It's a 40 foot long by 16 foot wide bridge rated for 100,000 pound vehicular traffic. Here we are in California. It's the same process all over again. In this case we've added 4 inches of gravel to help expedite leveling. Here we unload our precast concrete abutment blocks. We have blocks at several locations in northern and southern California. But these blocks were brought out of Reno, Nevada, since this project was on the eastern side of the Sierras. This remote site had very poor access to the other side of the river. This is another advantage of using our precast blocks, since we can simply reach across the river and stage blocks. Also notice one of the alternative block face types used here. This is a good example of our basic single wide abutment package rated for 80,000 pound vehicular traffic. And this is the finished product, 90 foot long and 10 foot wide. Keep in mind that precast is not always the best choice. Paragon does design and build several types of cast in place abutments. Give us 
click all the CFR abutment blocks can be used on your project. 